a bit, a bit of exposure because it's hard living up in Leeds to get anybody to really see you. And if you want people to see you, you've got to come down to London really to get to get seen by sort of like artistic directors, etc. I, I pay rent, and what what I'm left with is two pounds just, just about to cover a week, and that's not really ample. I mean, you can't do much with two pounds a week. Well, at the moment, I'm driving a forklift truck, you know, so I go dancing in the evenings. Yeah, it's very physical and very tiring, so when you get home, you know, you find you're really sort of exhausted. Then you have to go out and get tra go training again. While I'm dancing during the daytime, I work in McDonald's in the evening, which gives me the money that I need. Then during holiday times, I do cabaret work or in holiday camps and things like that. I've got a job in Warner's Holidays, which is on the Isle of Wight, where I'm a green coat, so that's quite good fun, actually. Well, I started two years ago. Before that, I, I just used to do sports and, like, you know, very active things, karate. I thought um, dance is very um, linked with um, sort of sports and it, it's quite um, active as well, so I thought I'd go and do some classes and things. Not to worry about the class. All right, now don't be nervous. And I'll see you downstairs in a moment. Good luck. Thank you. If you can see the judges, they can see you. Good. Well, I'm Jan Murray. Welcome to you all. It's great to have you here, and I hope you enjoy at least some of your day. I won't introduce the judges for the very good reason their names in front of them, but don't spend too much time studying their names. Concentrate on the class. Your teacher is Clover Rook. So have a good time. Don't forget, you're here to dance. We want to see what you can do in terms of dancing, moving through space, and do try to enjoy it. The judges are Michael Clark, founder of one of the most innovative modern dance groups in Britain, John Chesworth, director of the National Youth Dance Company, Marion Tate, principal ballerina with Sadler's Wells Royal Ballet, and Arlene Phillips, leading West End choreographer and founder of the group Hot Gossip. We're just going to do a few things on the floor just to warm you up. And it's all to do with stretching the spine and elongating. Stretch. Single beat. So. The idea of a compulsory class is to indicate to the judges the amount of training each individual has had, his or her potential, and to choose those we want to perform a solo. Feet coming forward. Feet coming forward. Right leg first, left arm, and five, six, seven, and eight. So these first exercises, as well as helping to loosen the body, give the judges a basic idea of each contestant's physical equipment, whether their spines are too inflexible for the necessary fluidity of contemporary dance, whether their hip joints are too tight to allow proper turnout and extension. For example, Matthew Butt, labeled C in the center hasn't been training for very long, and at 18, he has to battle against an already developed physique. Single beats. Are ready for the rises and a rise. Matthew Butt again, in the jazzy t-shirt. His reactions are a bit slow. Three very definite. Mm -hmm. And then a few sort of uh, wandering. Step forward, step forward. Reach this routine back. tests the alignment of the body, which affects balance and control. Before you put the foot down and reach out into the second and prepare stepping on it. Ready? Two, two, three, 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 four. Rebecca Carroll, the girl in green, a bit of a wobble there. Two, three, one. N, Giovanna Papa at the back, rather inhibited by her nerves. Nine, two, three, one. 
by Jane Hardy, a very attractive contestant with bags of confidence. This is a stronger group. Q, Lorraine Roberts with the dots, flamboyant but lacking control. These two young black guys from Leeds are notably well trained. T, Richard Webb in the front, has a beautiful line and a truly natural body for dance. All right, thank you very much. You know, um, two boys I like very much. I've got one boy. But it's difficult with the rest. Every exercise I keep catching one woman is even good at one thing, then at another, and they're exposed. This exercise is about moving musically, rhythmically, through space. It's easy to see variations in the dancer's balance and how effectively they use their arms. Jay, Sarah Haynes, in the mauve top, has lots of panache. Pair blonde Lorraine Roberts, who understands the sequence, with the girl in black behind her, who doesn't. It's like the day of judgment, isn't it? And some kid here, his whole career could hang on this. Now we come to the jumps. Look for neat footwork and speed. The two girls in the coloured tops aren't achieving much elevation. Rosemary Port on the left, beautifully placed. Jane Sansby with the red bow, aspires to be a bluebell girl. Exuberant but lacking polish. Other side. And one. But look at Richard Webb on the right. Effortless control. Milton Astley, Letter A and Matthew Buck. Ready. These two go for height at the expense of precision and style. And three. Dwight Powell on the right also goes for height, but he's in command of the whole sequence. And so's Richard Webb in the grey tights. Leave that ground. Go and one, two, three, four. Dwight soaring. So is Richard on the left. By now, the judges have a good idea of who they want to see perform a solo. But this jazz sequence, taught by Arlene Phillips, top West End and TV choreographer, founder of Hot Gossip, provides a very different kind of challenge. We're looking to see how quickly competitors can pick up a routine and how well they can sell it. A five, six, seven, go. One, two, press. Block, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, prepare. Turn, five, six, seven. One, two, uh, uh, stop. Low, turned out. Stick your bums right forward again. And one, two, three, four. Go on. Turn out. Really open, right? Now, once you're from there, just have fun on that. Bounce that. Right, now let me see you jump. Five, six, seven, go, feet! Yeah, really press sharp and high. Five, six, seven, go, jump down, releve. Okay, let me see you go into the step into the arabesque and show off your arabesque. Here we go. Five, six, seven, go, whack! Sarah Ferrant, center in black, lacks okay. jazz training, Five, six, so is concentrating seven, hard on picking up the in, steps. Up. Okay. Who by letter are you thinking of? Um, well, I, I like O. Yes, I do too. Doesn't she have a lovely jump? Yes. Very nice um, jump. No, she, I've got her down. Sarah Haynes and Mauve. Lots of verb. Oh, Rosemary Port, impressing us with her terrific attack. Okay. All right. It wasn't that good, actually. 
lovely, but yeah. let me see yeah. P, obviously. Yes. And yeah. Richard yeah. Point T, uh, he's, he's very good. And you think yeah. he's said a year's training? That's all one, one year? It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be really sensational, that boy. Switch, switch. So it goes up, up, up. And then from there, as you go over to the right, head relaxes to the, to the left, and then push down. And that's really like you're quite out of it or drunk. <laughs> Like Powell having trouble controlling those long legs, but note that marvelous jump. Yeah, I've got half a question mark. I love O. O, yes. T. T, I thought was lovely. And also P. Right, so we'll go from A through Z. Okay, now, Milton Astley, letter A, the forklift truck driver. I, I put down no, but... You say no, Michael. Mm -hmm. No, no. Okay, right. C, Matthew Bratt, the tall boy, who's had clearly very little technical training, but did have a go. I mean, really, with him, it's a question of whether he can show us something in a solo that he didn't show us in the past. I mean, he looks great, yeah. and if he was going to be a commercial dancer, he would work all the time. Well, they did a jazz class second night. I've hardly done any jazz, so put a downer on it. Not picking it up as quickly as I'd like to. Well, let's put him down as a question mark. Yeah. Okay. D, Rebecca Carroll, the girl in the emerald green leotard, very slim. She was in her... No, for me. Yeah, no, okay. for me. Now, we, I thought, was a question mark, Andrea Dean, a little one in black with yeah. fluffy hair. Yeah. I've got her as a definite. Definitely. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. You do? Uh -huh. Apart from her feet. Mm. Yeah, feet yeah, feet are yeah. Apart from her feet. Yeah, feet are Definitely from her yeah. But she did enough up top okay, to so take we got away from that. Or five, everybody wants her? Okay, yeah. so yeah. she's a definite. Yeah. All right. Um, well... Ultimately, West End shows such as Cats or 40 Seconds or something else that will turn up in that line. Or I also like doing rock jazz, which is commercial jazz. Now, the next one um, is one of Clover's students, so she won't probably say very much. G. Oh, she oh, used very nice technique. Yeah. I thought how quickly she picked up everything yeah. musical as well. And she looked to me like she's essentially contemporary and classical, but she really attacked that combination. Mm -hmm. yeah. You've got to pick things up quickly or you're going to just die. I was just worried about her fixed expression, which was serious well, she throughout. Was very, very <laughs> yeah. nervous. And yeah. Yeah. I'll see if she yeah. can actually yeah. crack a smile in her mm -hmm. solo, because she's right. I think she'd lock jaw. I was happy with the contemporary that I did, but I'm not so hot at jazz, and that always frightens me, because I think, oh, my God, I'm going to panic and get things all wrong. But All right. Oh, so G's are definitely yeah. yes, OK. Now, next one. I was... Arlene, I want your view on Jane Hardy. She's All right. So up and down. I mean, she's obviously yeah. wanted to be it wants to be a jazz jazz dancer. I mean, she's how old? Sixteen. I mean, she's got such a long way to go. I mean, she's pretty and got nice body, but how do you think she's done with your sequence? Well, cheated it all the way through, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, clever. Dear. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Brownie well, for a minute, we could put it with the question mark. I don't know what anybody else. But yeah, I've, got, I've got a question I've got, mark. I've got a question mark, too. Well, keep, keep, in, in, yeah. Yeah. All right. so keep we, in the question mark for a minute. Okay, now, Jay, I had us another question mark. Yes, Sarah Haynes, girl with the yeah. purple yeah. top. Yeah? yeah. Oh, how old is she? She was in purple. purple yeah. 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 She got better, too. Yeah. Mm. She got better. I mean, she had a good crack at your sequence, Arlene. She couldn't do it. Well, shall we leave with a question mark yeah. for now? I was sort of quite nervous, but I think I'm quite, you know, happy, and I think my dad will be really proud of me. Well, we're whipping through at the speed here. And Giovanna Papa? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was disappointed. Yeah. 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 I hope for more from her. Oh, we're definitely. Oh, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah she's yeah. very, very good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. In the third one. Yeah. And she did a marvellous job on your thing, Arlene, I yeah. thought. Yeah. She did a marvellous job on it. Yeah. She got better and better. She's yeah. another one with a bit of a weight very problem, strong. but... If she can yeah. deal with that, um, she's going to be sensational. You never know what the judge is looking for, you so you can never tell. Have you learned anything? Maybe that it's best to push to the front and show off a bit. <laughs> P, 
Dwight Powell. I mean, he yeah. was very nervous, and I hope, to goodness, he's going to do a better job in the solo yeah. because there's so many good things it about him. It was on and off. But yeah. he's very off. Yeah. Yeah. On yeah. What did you think, Michael? I think it's worth saying, oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I think it's yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. So he's a I didn't think I did well, but I was just trying my hardest. I think it's just my nerves. I was just really nervous. I, I learned that you have to pick up sequences very quick at audition. That's what I learned most of all. Q, now I had kept waxing and waning about her. Yeah. She was Miss Polka Dot, I yeah. call her. Um, she had a real go with George. She, she, she was in there for me, and she did that, that combination. She was a real surprise. Obviously, she needs to lose a ton of weight. Um, and change a Samantha Fox head. Is that ruthless? <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, actually, she, I mean, definitely for the minute, put her in the question mark. Well, okay, we're on to the question marks. What do we, what do we think about Miss Bluebell? Ah, somebody in Sheffield, where I live, said that I ought to go and try for the Bluebells with my height and everything. So I thought, oh, I'll go down and try for the day. He said I was a quarter of an inch too small it's at the one, moment. Two, I had to tell him I was too young as well. We've got Q as a question mark as well. Yeah. And of the two, I'd rather see Q than. Well, actually, that's a good oh, point. Yeah. They're both, they're both. Show busy types. Oh, so Lorraine Roberts, cute. So Q is a definite yes, and R is out, yeah? Okay, out. Um, the spectacular Richard yeah. Webb. Very good. Very, very, very Definite yes. yes. Very, very yes. And he's only been dancing a year. You're joking. And he'd never taken a dance class before. <laughs> My lovely, thank you very much. You can now go off and mock down and await your fate. Be in the foyer, and Jill Branson will tell you which of you will come and do the solo for us, OK? Thank you very much. You all worked really hard. See you some of you later. Okay. Okay. OK, the people the judges would like to see again are E, Andrea Dean. G, Sarah Farrant. J, Sarah Haynes. O, Rosemary Port. P, Dwight Powell. I, Jane Hardy. Q, Lorraine Roberts. And T, Richard Webb. OK? And the others, thank you very much. And if you can come back at 12.50. Thank you. I didn't get through. <laughs> and how do you feel? I, I don't mind. It's just coming here. It's an experience in itself. <laughs> I don't know. Just very, very happy. Very happy and relieved, especially after all the work that's gone into the solo. I mean, to have, you know, to have not got into the final after all that, it would have been a bit disappointing. I'm happy, but I'm nervous all over again. <laughs> I'm going to see uh, a show, I think. Yeah. Time or chess or something like that. Competition today because they have financial problems, usually a shortage of funds from their local grant authority. Certain authorities will not recognize dance as an art form, or certainly not as anything they're going to subsidize in terms of serious training. So if you're born in one county, you may not have a chance unless you win something like this award. And you could be a few miles away over border and have a very much more sympathetic authority who says, oh, great, that, that young person's accepted in, in a good school. We must find the money. So it's hit and miss. And I get these agonizing letters from young people saying, shall I move? You know, I've even had some of their parents saying, should we actually move house so that there's a chance for my son and my daughter to get a grant? There's not a lot of knowledgeable people in local authorities in terms of dance. It's a very rare thing. Leeds is one of the exceptions, which is one reason Leeds has set such a shiny example. Now, in the all-important next stage of the competition, finalists have to perform a solo. Those who continue to impress the judges will then be interviewed and get a chance to share the money which will help them continue at a dance school. First, letter P, Dwight Powell, age 19, from Leeds. There's no particular theme, it's just the way, I just choreographed it on the way I feel at the moment, and, how, and the way I'm dancing at the moment, and, and it's, just, it's just called aspiration. <laughs> I do hope he doesn't continue to feel like this, because there's a lot of um, hostility, almost menace, in, in this piece.
this is not the first solo of his I've seen. I think he's an exceptionally talented choreographer, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if this is eventually where his career takes him. He ends up being a dance maker. Now, he's a remarkably jagged, edgy, interesting, complicated young man. Just look at those gloriously high jumps that Dwight does. But he's sensible enough to contrast these with the earthbound crawling sequences. He crawls in and he crawls out backwards like some great cat. Dwight Powell, I thought his solo was brilliant. Mm. It was quite scary. Oh, oh, God. I mean, that like aggression. Power, yeah. Remember, he said it was about how he's mm. feeling. Yeah. Like, oh, dear, how is this I young man feeling? <laughs> Yeah. Wasn't yeah. that stunning? I mean, he really did sit yeah. in the air. And the way he slunk in and slunk yeah. out of there and that. But I was saying to Arlene, it's marvelous how he can use stillness. Everybody's all action, but he can just be still and hold your attention without doing anything. Right. Hi, Lovey. Come in, please. If you'd sit down there. You got your new sweatshirt on? There you go. At least you won't go home empty-handed. <laughs> right. Now, Dwight. We know you're at the Northern School, and I'm assuming you live with your parents, do you? Yeah. You still I live home? with one parent. With one parent. So, in fact, it's not as expensive for you as it is clearly for kids who have to go to another city. No, it's not that expensive. Um, so, who's at home? Just it's just me and my mum at home. Mm -hmm. So the bill, the bill, everything, everything shared between us. Does your mum work? She's a machinist. How are you financially then? After I've taken out the money for the bills and everything, I'm left with thirteen pounds for a week. So that's just less than two pounds a day. So I just try and get by on that. If you start looking for work, what sort of thing would you be? Aiming it's always going to be contemporary for me. Contemporary is going to be for me. What I'm about your choreography? I mean, I thought your solo was marvelous, actually, and I remember the solo you did for the. My National choreography, Youth. I, I like choreographing because um, you, you, you know, I like, I like to express myself not only but with me dancing but in other people and seeing other people move mm -hmm. the way I want them to move. It's, you know, I can't paint, I can't draw, but I can choreograph, so I can see what I can see something move, I can see it on stage, and that's what I want to do. I want to dance, and then if the, when the career starts to sort of like go, I'll sort of like choreograph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, can, you shouldn't. You can do both simultaneously, yeah, yeah. you know, my dear. You can say you <laughs> your <laughs> choreography on how you were feeling. How are you feeling? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's just, it's just the, the way I am, I don't, I don't know, it's just, it just, I can't, I can't describe it, I only can describe it through movement, I can't say it in words, I'm afraid. Can you Otherwise you'd be a writer. Yeah. So, this is true. Letter I, Jane Hardy, age 16, studying at the Lane Theatre Arts College, Epsom. Good, can you tell us a bit about your solo? Um, my teacher choreographed it. Choreographed. Choreographed. So speak yeah. up, sweetie, so the other judges can um, hear. And um, it's uh, usually three minutes long, but I've had to shorten it. Okay, sure. Yeah. If you give Bob, you could sit. Okay. I'm starting when you're ready, love. <laughs> Jane, I think, yes, her piece has been choreographed by a teacher, and clearly this teacher wants to show off her acrobatic gymnastic skills. Now, this is all very well, and it's useful to have those skills, particularly if you want to do musical comedy dancing or rock videos, that sort of thing. It is a help to be able to do cartwheels and splits and double somersaults and so on. However, there's a great deal more to dancing than that. I do think it rather unfortunate that Jane, who's a very attractive performer and a very nice looking young girl, should be doing this combination of hip wiggling and gymnastics because it's, it's not what's needed in this situation and I don't really think it does her justice. Okay, Jane Hardy, our little boop boop doop with the pigtail. I've got acrobatic back. <laughs> so have I. I think. Well, I know how I feel about her, and indeed it, it will come to some of the others, so I may say it in general. It's just that when I feel that the standard of classical dance is getting so high here, the standard of contemporary dance is getting so high, and the standard of jazz just stinks. And after coming back from America, it's just, it's just 
No, because unless we start demanding that jazz <clears throat> dancers, commercial dancers, have the same standard as other dancers, you know, to go to those schools, they all drop out after a year or two years because they can get a pantomime, because they can get a television if they look cute, because they can... It's just a no for me. Letter G, Sarah Farrant, aged 18, in her second year at the Ballet Rombert School. Tell us a bit about your solo. Um, it's called In Silence and Darkness. I found a poem called Rainbow Valley, I think it's called. I can't remember the poet, but it had the line in it. And some of the things in the poem remind me. Oh, God, I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> deep breath, deep breath. Don't start until you feel ready, sweetie. You know, your throat's tight. Give Bob the cassette and take a few deep breaths, OK? okay? Start when you feel OK. Well, Sarah Farron's solo, she made herself. And this is always of interest to judges because it's a great comfort to see a spark of choreographic talent. And I, I think, in fact, Sarah's piece had some nice movement and nice sequences. Sarah's good enough to have reached this stage of the competition. She's an intelligent young dancer, a thinking dancer. But I'm personally disappointed she hasn't shown us a wider range of movement. Feeling, but a bit of a weight problem. Definitely weight problem. Mm. But that's something you can talk to me about. Mm. She was. I thought she was beautiful, but again, sort of a, a weight, a weight problem. But How old was she? Eighteen. Eighteen. Well, she's going to have to tackle this. She wants uh, to be a pro. Yeah. Sarah, maybe in that chair right there. Yes. Behind the wall of glass. Uh, good. Now, um, one of the things we want to talk to you about is finance. Have you got a full grant? No. You don't. How much? Well, last year I didn't get a grant at all. Not at all? No, because Why not? last year my mum had been working, so we were up to paying for it. I mean, the entire family has to give up things that it wants to do, and all mucking together, really, when you've got a child that's going to do something and they start proving themselves and they need assistance, so you've all got to deny. What does your mum do? She's a nurse. Right. And recently she had a hernia, an industrial accident. Now she's back working. She'll do more work than she probably is up to, because, you know, she's... Extra shift to support her daughter. <laughs> now, would we like to ask um, Sarah to you know, go to Korea? Miss Lancashire, lad, I get first question. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't say anywhere how you see your future. I think my main love is actual dancing, but I do enjoy choreographing, and I think a combination of both, hopefully. But you'd like to get in a contemporary company? Yeah, to start with. Letter O, Rosemary Port, age 17, from the Bush Davis School, Sussex. Rosemary Port obviously knows her own strengths. She made this solo for herself, and she knows how to build, build on the African music. She's certainly big in her impact. She has... Uh, a wonderful breadth of movement. There's nothing mingy or small or petty-minded about the way Rosemary moves. She certainly covers a lot of space. She's lots of confidence. She takes everything she does, whether it's falling to the floor or doing extremely impressive high jumps. Put some of the boys to shame. fixed financially. Are you on a full-time grant? No. What have you got? Um, I've got 1,100 per year. What's that for? Tuition? Yes. And that covers you tuition? No. no. <laughs> you think it would. What is the tuition at Bush Davies? It's, uh, at the moment, it's 1,360 per term. Per term? Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you're 
less than a third. Well, we couldn't do it for more than one of the children. And you just hope that you won't have another dancer in the family once in her. <laughs> do both your parents work? No, only my father. And your dad. Mm -hmm. So, given this huge shortfall in what you need, um, how are you planning to get through next year? Well, my dad can support me, just. <laughs> just. <laughs> for another year. I don't know about the third year of my training yet. Because, uh, I mean, my jazz teacher had planned, well, would like me somehow to go and study at an Alvin Ailey in New York. Mm. See, so... Very good for you, actually. Mm. Don't know where the money's going to come from. Well, the thing is with Alvin Ailey, I mean, you don't have to pay tuition, but you do have to live in New York. Yeah. But, I mean, most of them get part-time jobs mm. or something. Yeah. They just do it to scrape mm. along. It's not easy, but it's possible. No, no. Letter Q, Lorraine Roberts, 18, now in her first year at the Arts Educational School, London. Tell us if you want to tell us so that we all can hear. Um, well, it's a solo made half up by my jazz teacher at my school and half by myself. Um, it was done in a jazz class, and I liked the dance, but I didn't know where the music came from. <laughs> okay, so you can start when you're ready. Watch that step. <laughs> I think Lorraine Roberts' costume and choreography are a mistake in terms of a serious dance competition like this one. She's worked as an entertainer in holiday camps, and that lightweight approach is certainly reflected in her solo. There's a great deal of competition in the world of showbiz dancing where any number of glamorous young women are wanting to do that kind of work. So if she's going to survive in that field, she's going to have to do better than this. Lorraine, little Miss Polka Dot, who had her uh, sequins. Wobbly thighs at 18. Very unfortunate opening, too. I mean, what is she doing sitting in that pose? I mean, it made her oh, very okay. painful. Yeah. Yes, well, we won't discuss yeah. that. No. Right. My ambition has been, well, from so high was to teach. But then when I started full time dancing, I wanted to dance on stage, West End, go into television. The final contender is letter T, Richard Webb from the Northern School of Contemporary Dance in Leeds. Richard, Richard, Tell us a bit about your solo. Um, it's choreographed by Namran Murray, who's um, at the school. Yes. And um, it's called Steal Away, and the music's by Michael Tippett. Great. If you give the cassette to Bob over there with the grey, and start when you're ready. Watch that step. Start when you're ready. My Richard Webb is fortunate in having a beautifully crafted solo made specially for him by one of his teachers. It's a very moving, very profound and highly professional interpretation. What in fact is a very beautiful spiritual by Sir Michael Tippett. Wonderful jumps again, rather like his fellow student Dwight Powell. Wonderful control and balances. This is very much in the Alvin Ailey mold. Alvin Ailey has often worked with gospel songs, spiritual songs and prayer gestures, and these all work well for Richard. sense of theatre as a gift. It can't be taught. I mean, he's obviously born to be a performer, born to be an artist, and if he's done this well after such a short period of training, he'll certainly be someone to watch out for in a year or two.
Richard, I'm assuming oh, everybody wants to see. Love it. It's it's gorgeous. Yeah. 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 After one year, I cannot oh, believe I can't the standard he has reached in one year. Admittedly, he has the best choreographer. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, but Which helps, but I mean, that he piece, you could put it on tonight on this yes. stage, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Just looking for your file, darling. I can't get it out this minute. Well, I'll bust it now. First of all, oh, thanks, lady. First of all, we want to know about your financial situation. Now, you, you, are you from Leeds? Uh huh. So you have digs? Yes. But how, how do you find the money? Oh right. Well, I don't. You don't. <laughs> well, I'd, um, we got a grant, five hundred pounds a term, which isn't enough you know, on its own. Yeah, and. Um, We've got to pay rent and travel to school every morning and everything like that, and it's just mounted up. And at the moment, um, financially, quite bad because um, I owe a lot of rent and things Ooh. like that, and rates, Ooh. and the red bills are coming in <laughs> and things like that. But um, it is quite bad, actually. I'm really one up on you all because I've seen him in classical class, which he copes with very well, too. You know, he's a sort of all rounder, <laughs> such a phrase. <laughs> Where you could study classical dance during your summer holiday now? Well, I'm down at the Rombert at the moment, doing placement with them just for a week, just sort of doing class and, and watching rehearsals and things like that. And I was with Festival Ballet um, two weeks ago doing the same thing. And, that, very and the time's oh. taken up by a lot of that, thing, that mm -hmm. sort of thing, just trying to get around London a lot and getting seen and things right. like that. So if you had the money, you could come down more often and say to open classes as well, yeah. the best yeah. teachers. Four contemporary dancers have survived the interviews. Dwight Powell from Leeds, Richard Webb also from Leeds, and Sarah Farrant from the Ballet Rombert School, and Rosemary Port from the Bush Davis School. However, to qualify for prize money, they must now be judged against these classical ballet hopefuls. Next week, in part two of this program, we see how they make out against these young dancers, many of whom have been training for 10 years.